Welcome back to Character Select. Dave can add this Misha. Misha, do you have control? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. that'd be pretty embarrassing yeah. if, he, if she didn't. I got okay. control. All right, cool. Uh, we are back for more StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Mm -hmm. And I guess this mission, because we've been talking about this before we actually started, is a pain in the tuchus. Because mm. you have to hold out for a certain amount of time to get an achievement. And then if you want another achievement, you have to hold out for even longer. So that's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not really a pain, it's just really boring uh, on normal. It's Although, so this is the one mission I haven't gotten the hard achievement for. So, Because the hard achievement is to hold out for like 2 billion Zerg on hard difficulty, which is Prost just terrifying. Protoss aren't a holdout race. They absolutely aren't. Of all the Templar, you never wavered in the belief that our two peoples could live in unity. It is something I admired in you. It is ironic to hear you say this. All this time, I believed you were reluctant to accept the unity I sought. You and I had many a disagreement in the Twilight Council. For day by day, I saw my people losing what they were. I saw our precious old ways erode. You wished to preserve them. I am Nerezim, Dark Templar. I hold great pride in my people. But you are also Protoss. That is the greater affiliation. That is not what the Conclave believed when we were exiled long ago. Your kind had ire. Our culture is all we ever had. Yeah, bitch. Look, Porzin, that was like a thousand years ago. <laughs> That's only two generations, though. <laughs> Alright, yeah, what can we yeah. assemble this time? <laughs> Dark Templars. Ooh. So we can get Dark Templars. They have this ability. They're very strong. <laughs> they just teleport around and kill stuff. Very, very strong against, like, Marines or Zerglings and stuff like that. Nice. Then we have this one. When they die, they respawn with full life. Really? Yep. But yep. if they die, they can only do that once every minute. But even that's pretty yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Look at how many Zerglings they're slaughtering. That's a bloodbath. That's pretty I'm awesome. I'm gonna need those. I'm gonna need them. Alright. In Adun, Artanis. Hi, Phoenix. You have become a mighty warrior since last we fought together, Artanis. Even these Dark Templar revere you as if you were a Dune himself. If only Pasadar could have lived to see what you become. Sadly, he exploded. I often think about him. He's a ghost now, that's fine. These events would have been if you were still in command. Mm. You're a hierarch now. More doubts do not honor you or him. Yet, they persist. Tassadar's shadow looms large over my every action. You must move from Also, I got a piece of him on my armor and it just won't scrub off. Can truly grow while still in the shadow of his mentor. What have you discovered about the keystone, Faye Smith? Only that my skills may be inadequate to assess it. Explain. Imagine the Terrans obtained one of our fabrication matrices. Could their scientists ever understand its engineering? Yes, the welcome to XCOM. Probably, yeah. <laughs> the Zelnaga were beings beyond our understanding. Keep working, Karax. I have faith in you. If you can't figure out how it works, figure out how to make it work. <laughs> I mean, the Terrans figured out how to make that keystone do something it was not supposed to be able to do. Ooh. So. Uh, what's a Nexus overcharge do? It turns oh. the Nexus into a great big turret. Wow, lame. Mm -hmm. Get them orbital assimilators, baby. Gas without oh, yeah. probes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's real, real strong. You'll also you'll like the next one. Show them what the what the one above that is. Yeah. Really? Wow. You turn stargates and war and robotics facilities into warp gates. That's awesome. Does that, I wonder, does that 
benefit from the, your superior warp gate uh, thing? I don't know, but it'll be interesting to find out. Hmm. Because that would be pretty crazy if they could stack up, like, charges as well. I wonder how useful this one will be. Chrono Search? And it'll be useful. Yeah. Uh, All right. Situation ships have reported in. All are present and are being escorted by the Spear of a Dune. Thank you, Lorison. All right, so we don't have to be here anymore. Let's go. Yeah. This was not an easy decision, but I would rather see Shakuras destroyed than overwhelmed by Amon Zerg. We have much to plan, Hierarch. Okay. Yes, we do. I've always wanted to blow up a planet. Tell me, Vorazun. Right. How will we bring destruction to your uh -huh. world? The Zelnaga Temple's face prism can be overloaded, forcing a spike of energy into the planet's core. Enough of a charge. Borazun, have you ever heard of a mana cure? Amon will not possess <laughs> I have been thinking about this choice. Are you reconsidering? No. My time here has reminded me of the courage of your people. That we must fight. If we are to suffer, then so too will Amon. We will lure as many of Amon's hybrid and Zerg through the gateway as we can. Only once enough are through to wound him, will we overload the temple and flee. You mean to bleed him? Now, if you're gonna blow up a planet, go big or go home. Yep. But we right. can't risk the forces it would require to do such a thing. Leave that to me, Matriarch. I have learned much from the Dark Templar. Alright. Needs. Um, I had a thought hmm? and I don't remember what the fuck yes. it was. Oh, well, that sounds like a you problem, Dave. Usually is. Probably wasn't very important. God damn it. God damn it. What? I'm feeling underappreciated here. Why? <laughs> Our forces have secured the Zelnaga Temple grounds. Our tents, how go your preparations? I am configuring the temple now, but without the Uraj and the Callus, it will take time. Time is not. What are the Uraj and the Callus? That's from Brood War. Yeah, you have to collect two gems. This is the same temple from Brood War. I didn't yeah. play Brood War. What? I didn't yeah, even I didn't even really do the Zerg campaign in the first game. Like the Protoss campaign in Brudor was the very first one. No. I didn't yeah. play Brudor at all. Wow. Considerable distance. They should prove instrumental in our defense. And there is my defenses. Let us begin. Do, 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 the sooner the Zenith stones are destroyed, the better off we shall be. The Zerg will overwhelm the temple grounds shortly. Agreed. Although, should it become necessary, my Dark Templar can sneak through the enemy and destroy the stones. So the Zelnaga Temple must survive. Hold out for one billion Zerg. God, yeah. look at that kicking up. That's insane. Yeah, right. Exercise caution. So when they said that the Zerg were pouring through the warp gates, they didn't. They meant it. it yeah, <laughs> almost and literally. They're and like a, a wall of meat is coming through. And they still can't actually um, assimilate the Protoss, right? Like the hybrid no. have to nope. be engineered. Yes. Yep. Okay. The Zerg gathered for an attack. You have to force oh. it. You the have to really force it. So. To work to oh actually work. Work. I'm so scared of two roaches and six zerglings. Right. Hey, look, maybe you're not prepared. Uh oh, they're gonna intercept you guys. No, Their dragoons not. are too slow. No. Oh, wait, yeah, uh, that's fine. Blurns. So, is the Caterin Marlith uh, AoE or is it point? No. It's a single target. 
Okay. Well, it got damaged. It does deal 100 it damage. It has uh, ridiculously uh, long range. There 13. Are more resources nearby. We can construct a second nexus near them to accelerate our harvesting. Look, we haven't even reached that in our first one. Calm the fuck down. No, you need them. You need mm -hmm. a lot of resources. I'm sure. Oh, the automatic refining is so good. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Did you horrible. say that you automated a part of your economy? It's amazing. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Yeah. What a novel thought. So, once you destroy the Zenith Stone, does it automatically end as soon as you hit one billion what? No, the, no, you have to no. choose to activate oh. the thing. Gotcha. To blow things up. Another brood of Zerg is preparing to attack from a hive to the northwest. Ooh, can you kill the hives? No, they're nope. off screen. They are beyond the map boundary, unfortunately. Rude. Yeah, so you can kill everything in front of them, but they will just keep, like, coming. Spawning. Like, there's nothing yeah. you can do about it. We're up to, uh, up to 200 million Zerg. I do like the idea of, well, we're going to blow up this planet so Amon can't use it. And then the reply is, that's a great idea, but let's use it offensively. <laughs> I mean, Scorched Earth, like Scorched Earth Plus. It, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of, um, do you ever play Galactic Civilizations 2? No. Okay, so one of the things you can do in Galactic Civilizations 2, it's kind of a turn-based game similar to, uh, imagine Stellaris, but turn-based, right? Um, it is done. The Zenith Stones have been destroyed. Once your task is complete, the temple can be overloaded. Pop. And the temple alignment is proceeding well. Now, we wait for the Zenith. Um, one of the things you can build in Galactic Civilizations 2 is a... It's not called a Death Star, but it's a Death Star. And, uh, once you have a Terror Star you can uh, start blowing up planets with impunity. Nice. And the first time you blow up a planet, everybody is like, oh my god, you're the most evil person ever. We must destroy you. The right? second time you blow up a planet, they're like, oh shit. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> can we make peace, please? <laughs> I mean, sensible. It's actually fucking hilarious. Do, 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 I think do, do, you're probably going to get stuck. Yep. He did. Wait, what the hell is... What the hell is... Oh, that's a catering monolith. Okay. Yeah. Destroy the pylon. The biggest, the biggest downside to them is that they're fucking so fat. <laughs> they are a three by three building. Yeah. So it's very awkward to place them. And they're half again as large. Yeah. Mm hmm. I can see how this mission would be a pain in the ass. The only thing worse than a defense mission is a defense mission where you can be attacked from any angle. Yeah. There are only, there are a lot of choke points in this, and you have to hold off from four different directions. With technically limited resources, because once you've harvested all those minerals, you're not getting any more, right? Yeah, there's no... yeah. There is no more resources at, uh, beyond what's right in your base. Granted, it's a lot of resources, but still. Yeah. Ooh, 
Might be too many probes, Misha. No, I no. guess you're good. No. He still could do like twenty, like fifteen more probes to get maxed out. So yes. I, I'm not gonna lie. I have been. Pl I did play this a little bit in my off time just to see if I could get you know a little better at the macro and the micro and all that stuff. Well, the macro mostly because I'm worried about the micro. Um, a miss. Um, go on. A mission. This mission really makes me wish that you could kind of designate targets on your buildings. Like, if you could pro if you could tell your monoliths to target the highest health point enemies only. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like a target priority would be just so nice. Um, but yeah, I was playing on, I was just playing some versus AI matches to try and get used to the controls and stuff like that. Yeah. Minimal fields on on versus matches are shit. <laughs> There's like, they give you like four thousand minerals and then they're gone, and I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah. It's, yeah, you need to expand. It's just garbage. Curious. There are overlords closing on the temple grounds. Done. 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 They are transporting ground forces. Destroy the overlords quickly. Oh no, a single overlord. What shall I do? I'm just going to let it drop some circling through my base, I guess. The, uh, yeah, the cater and monolith can only attack ground units, right? Nope. Really? Can wow. take everything. No! The circlings, only a single one can attack it. Oh, that's so sad. They're trying so hard, Misha. That's scary. Right? The will hey, I know you killed like seven or eight or maybe even a dozen, but there's more coming. How many more? All of them. <laughs> So we hit 5 million at about 12 minutes. And we have to hit, what, 2.3 billion? Yeah. Yep. Oh, God. Alright, so what were those things, he, since we've got time, clearly, what were those things he was talking about that you said were in Brood War? The Callus oh. and the Uraj? Yeah. They're like special, like, you know how the Protoss build everything with these like Kydarian crystals? These yeah. Like psycho these like psionically active crystals that are, that are native to their home world? Yeah. Uh, the Kallus and the Uraj were special, were like unique ones. And they could help like focus like kind of like void energies. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, one was void and one was psi. Yeah. One was for each of the each of the two kinds, um, and when Shakuris got invaded the first time by the Zerg, Artanis and Zeratul used the crystals on this temple that you're standing on now to use the um, to turn Lens the it of turn, Zerg. it turned this temple into basically a giant like radiation wave machine, which killed only the Zerg across the entire planet. That sounds healthy. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, why is your southwestern? Never mind. It's fine. But I don't. I don't know what happened to those crystals. They're gone now. So I guess. So. <laughs> Probably explain in one of the books or something. Maybe. I'm pretty sure Kerrigan stole them. <laughs> Kerrigan stole them. Yeah. Probably. Because Kerrigan was also on this planet and she infested Voidazin's mother. Which is impossible to do, but she did it anyway. No, she didn't infest her. She didn't infest Rajagal. She just, like, psychically dominated her. Because she was, like, a thousand years old, and Kerrigan was just stronger. So she just, like, basically puppeteered her. Puppeted if Rajagal. You, if you put them out there, they can't come back in once you've built your defenses. That, that's what I'm thinking of. Should I... 
I'd say keep them, them in out, reserve. Sir? If only you had some yes. giraffes. Yeah, that'd make this really nice if you could, if you had if you had those. But unfortunately, yeah, that would make this mission way too easy. much easier. Oh, here come the oh, big boys! And here he comes. By the gods, I have never seen such abomination. Warriors, focus. Oh yeah, take a look at them. There's the the airborne, the airborne the hybrid. Oh, flying what? hybrids! Looks like a fucking void ray almost. It kind of yeah. does. Mechanically speaking. When do you get to play as the hybrid in, uh, in co-op? You, you don't. <laughs> that would make for a really weird co-op mission. <laughs> we must destroy Amon's forces. Our allies, the hybrid, will help us defeat the hybrid. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. The only issue with this is that it makes it really annoying to try and rebuild those fucking cannons. Mm. Well, that's why you create a defense in depth. Also I known suppose. as a castle defense. Also known as a hippity hoppity get off my property. Hippity hoppity get off of my property. <laughs> ah, this is not actually a good example of defense in depth. This is stonewalling. Yeah. I have never borne witness to so many Zerk. Was this the threat my mother once faced? Basically. This threat is a far greater one, and it will take all we have to resist it. Uh, I love seeing the creep freaking extend on the minimap, too. That's not terrifying yeah, at all. We're getting closer. Would it be helpful to actually go out there and destroy the creep? No. No. Hmm. Mm, symmetry. Yes. See, this one holds just fine. That's because that, this... that one actually has a choke point. Yeah, th this one, it allows me to have more cannons at the front. Yeah. This one is way too narrow. I mean, you've got a bunch of those Caterin monoliths. Hey, yeah, Misha! Yeah, but they attack super slow. Misha! Why? You, Why? Should put a, you should put a line of Dark Templars in front of your cannons over <laughs> on that side. <laughs> They've got, They've got overlords, though. They can see them. Oh, right. No, no. Yeah. Overlords aren't detectors, but they are end those up guys getting detectors? detectors. Are the hybrids detectors? No, but they do get detectors eventually. Which is the problem. Oh, that, uh, that overlord is totally sneaking into your base. Yeah, he's dead. They die. I mean, you're not wrong, but also, they're kind of douchebags. Oh, yeah. No, I have no final bar there. Ooh. Yes. So, you specifically built a forge or an engineering bay or whatever to upgrade no, your... I'm trying. To, to upgrade your units. Oh, this one. Yeah. Does that uh, oh, yeah, yeah. does that upgrade the the photon cannons too? No, shields. Uh, Only shields. shields do. The attack doesn't. The damage doesn't. Or an armor doesn't. Hierarch, I have discovered a solarite cache beneath the Zelnaga temple. If we can hold longer, I should be able to retrieve it. Begin the retrieval process, Kerax. We will hold the temple as long as we can. And if we decide not to hold out. Then uh, you're gonna explode. Click this button. <laughs> oh, we're gonna hear that a lot, aren't we? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Oh, there's some creep on the ground there. Is there? Yeah, it's yep. cheating. Yeah. Because of those things. <laughs> so many monoliths. It's gonna get to the point where the Zerg population is actually gonna go down because you're killing so many. <laughs> yeah, I would hope. That would be interesting, but no. I also love the fact that the monoliths keep charging up, but they can't shoot because the things oh, die no. too quickly. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? What a jerk. What happened? How can he hit that, though? But you're a, it's, it's he late. shouldn't have vision up here. It shouldn't. Well, Try obviously... Try it again. Obviously, no, you need to nuke the shit this out of him. Killed it. Goodbye. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. More will, shield batteries. We will choke the rivers with our machines? Oh, the mission is done! Yay! Yeah. Retrieval is still in progress. If we can hold on just one billion one... Zerg. Kill six billion demons. Oh, right, I can do this. We only have one. I only need one. So it seems like it's uh, five hundred mil or five hundred million every twelve and a half minutes, something like that. Because I think we hit one billion at twenty-five minutes. Zap. Oh my Zap. god! Zap. Get out, great out big the baker! Great oh, big no. zappers. The creep showed up and it's dead. Hi, Rock Artenis. Is it really such a good idea to spend so much effort building so many buildings that are all going to explode? But I have zappy guns. They're zappy zaps. <laughs> <laughs> the Zerg dies. It's fine. This one is holding just well. He <laughs> monolith go bzzzt. Uh, <laughs> the shield battery on that one is totally drained, though. Oh, well, I, I may mean, recover yeah, slowly, I mean, but I can't really do anything about it. Yeah, yeah. the no that part is annoying to, to reinforce. No, that, that's why I have uh, this guy here. These guys. So that I can focus <laughs> on this area first. I've totally forgotten something, by the way. Fly boys? No, immortals. Immortals. Uh. Because these immortals have a special power. I love that the Zerg literally rain from the sky, and your catering monoliths are like, Ow, oh, zap. <laughs> <laughs> So, if my math is right, then it should be 31 minutes and 15 seconds by the time we get to 1.5. No. Yeah, and I need 2.3. No, actually, it's going up faster than it was going up before. Never mind. Yeah, because now they're proliferating as well. Yeah. All the monoliths are just like, excuse me. <laughs> they all turn Rude. at once to look at it. And... Oh, you lost a phase cannon. Or a photon yeah. cannon. Yeah. 
So you can't, you can't repair things, and you can't, like, get a worker in there. Ah! 1.5. The Solarite has been successfully warped aboard the Spear of the Dune. Wonderful! Uh, you might want to check that northeast one. Yeah, it's almost completely falling apart. Mm -hmm. What about the northwest one? The that, other one that was why hard I'm to build. building these ones. Oh, that's starting to fall too. There's a hole there. Yeah, I know this. And you can start doing this. You know what would be really cool to me if they did it, but I know that they don't. What if? Waiting until you, the amount that actually get destroyed when you blow up the planet actually meant something. Hmm. Like, if you held out for two billion and it was really, and it was really difficult, but you managed to do it, then later missions or even just the next mission or two would be uh, just a little bit easier because there would be that many, there would be fewer units to face off against. But they don't do that. No, I have the wrong immortals! Dun dun dun! Oh well. We're aiming you guys, though. Starting to get a little bit laggy. Oh god. Yeah. That's not your connection, by the way. <laughs> no, I know. Alright, that is closest makes no difference. 1.8 billion. Global swarming. swarming. <laughs> now I just need to hold out for 2.3. That shouldn't take too long, because if we hit 1 billion at 25... ...and it's 33 minutes, so... <laughs> the map pings, though. Oh, wow. They really chewed up a hole in that one. <laughs> Just yeah. to get you should, Can you, like, spawn some units in there or something to, like, fill in some, like, dragoons or some shit? Uh, you also have to worry about what, about those pylons going down, just in case. Because if you lose a pylon and it goes down and you lose power, then uh-oh. Oh my god, look at the sheer number of ultralisks. Zap. Can oh. you imagine if they had Tarasks? <laughs> that would be mean. It's fine, they don't they don't have access to Kerrigan's tech tree, just regular Zerg. No no, Amon doesn't know what Kerrigan is doing. He can't stop her. She's filed a restraining order, so everything's fine. Uh, excuse me, I have copyright. These are... no. What? Did the sound just fucking die? A little bit. Yeah. The game is freaking out so much that it can't even tell what's going on anymore. It doesn't. It doesn't like how many are for, like around, and uh, how many and how many buildings like Misha has. The asset count is the asset count is like becoming like a burden. And my computer, too game. much. For what it's worth, my computer is not is not a weakling. It's it's decently beefy. I played Doom Eternal at 60 frames per second, you know? On pretty I, good quality. Yeah. Oh, come on! They already took... 
the amount of like damage calculations that the computer has to run right now is a lot. Oh my god, look at all those hybrids. Jesus. This is like this is why this is a really hard achievement, because like 2. Mm -hmm. they start coming in like just hilarious n amounts. Yeah, no, oh, they're, they're, they're your bottom, my defenses now. Your bottom, yeah, they're starting to like just overwhelm it. I just uh I just have to uh, oh, 2.25! How much do you have to get again? 2.3. 2.3. Okay, you only have to hold a little bit more. How much life does the temple yeah. have? Check the temple. Because it can't be destroyed. Five okay, pounds. yeah, you got this, you got this. You're good, you're good. 2.85! Yeah, 2.9! Yeah, 2.3! A few for a few. Let's do more. this. <laughs> I'm done. You've activated my trap card. <laughs> Templar, initiate dimensional recall. Get there's not all. There's not many left to get. And cutscene time. That's inside the temple. Yeah. Artanis does it himself. Also, I did not realize this until today. I do like the fact that he's wearing Zeratul's brace or, or fan brace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, Cthulhu. I see you brought your friends. <laughs> Zaglings! It is said that those of our kind suffer, separated from the glory of the Kala. You cannot hold out against them, <laughs> Arcanus. Well, he has to. Mm -hmm. Warp me out. Uh, none of us nope. are ever truly alone. For our warrior hearts are bound by honor. Wait, what the hell was that? Psionic Storm. Alright, warp me out. <laughs> Mid explosion. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Yeah. It was 2.3 billion good Zerg. <laughs> there we go. Uh, noble sacrifice. Very nice. Damn. You're welcome. A lot mm -hmm. of achievements. A lot of achievements. All right. Uh, next time on character select, probably fewer exploding planets, or if we're lucky, more exploding planets. <laughs> At least one more. Excellent. So thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And that was strictly unnecessary, but, you know, still pretty good. Gratuitous. <laughs> Grit. Gratuitous. Zerg Massacre.